This is the devotional for the month of March, and it is titled Fellowship of His Sufferings. It is taken after Philippians chapter 3, verses 10 and 11. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain to the resurrection of the dead. The Apostle Paul is informing the Philippians of what he sacrificed in order to follow Jesus. Before his conversion, Paul excelled at being a Jew. He was a Pharisee and took part in persecuting Christians. Whatever he might have gained living his life as a Pharisee, Paul counted it as worthless to winning Christ. He wanted to know Jesus. He wanted the crown of life when his service was finished. One interesting thing of note from our text is that Paul wanted to have fellowship in the sufferings of Jesus. Fellowship in the sufferings of Jesus is common for Christians. Jesus said to his disciples in John chapter 15 and verse 20, Remember the word that I said to you, A servant is not greater than his master, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. In that passage, Jesus points out that the world did not like him. Jesus explained why in John chapter 3 and verse 19. And this is the judgment. The light has come into the world, and people love the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. Those who desire to live like Jesus must expect persecution. Jesus also told his disciples in Mark chapter 13 and verse 9, But be on your guard, for they will deliver you over to councils, and you will be beaten in synagogues, and you will stand before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them. The sufferings of these disciples along with the Apostle Paul, was due to their following the commands of Jesus. How does a Christian respond to such treatment? The Jewish council had instructed the apostles not to teach the gospel of Jesus. Yet the Apostle Peter responded by saying they had to obey God rather than men. Then the council beat the apostles before releasing them. They responded, as all Christians do who have fellowship in the sufferings of Jesus. They left the council rejoicing they were counted worthy to suffer for Jesus. Acts chapter 5 and verse 41. Let us pray. Our mighty God in heaven, we thank you for the fellowship and the sufferings of your beloved son. We thank you for counting us worthy. Pray will we be found worthy servants before you on the last day. Help us, Lord, to look to that day, and we pray you will come quickly. It is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. <laughs>